one question for you. Do you want to make side hustle money? Hmm? Was that a yes? <laughs> I think that was a yes. All right, so since that was a yes, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys exactly how you can make easy side hustle money. All right, anyone can do it, okay? Anyone. Now, you don't have to have any inventory, okay? And you don't have to be like this full-blown artist. Um, just be just a little tad creative, all right? So just a tad bit, all right? And then, um, you know what I'm saying, you just have to spend like maybe like five or six minutes if you wanna spend more, that's up to you. You do you, boo, okay? You do you. All right, so you can also be anywhere in the world to do this, okay? So what am I talking about? What is this book bolt? It's a standalone a software that will help you research and produce quality and awesome books on Amazon KDP, all right? <laughs> easy now they do have some awesome features where you can make covers okay so they have a cover creator and i remember with amazon kdp when i was trying to do it i was struggling so i wish i had this a long time ago but it makes it so much easier for you to do a cover for your amazon kdp book now they also have 1200 and more free fonts and then over a million royalty free images so no more going on google talking about some uh is that a copyright um on this picture enough with me talking about book ball so i want to go ahead hop in get in there and show you guys exactly how to use it and then we're going to go ahead and upload it to our amazon kdp all right y'all with me so if you want to make some side hustle money let's go ahead and hop into this all right, so this is what my book bolt looks like when I first log in. And this should be what yours look like. So as you can see, we have a lot of different videos here, which are tutorials. So we are actually under the research tab. As you can see here, we have a lot of different options that we can pretty much choose from. And basically, each of these options do correspond with the video. So like product search, if you want to know more information about that. Seller search, if you want to know more about that. These are just videos to get let you, you know, get the most out of each option that you see. So first, we're going to go ahead and click on products. This is broken down into pieces. You have keywords and then you have category. This says general here, but this is a drop down box and there is a lot of different options that you can choose from. And we have, let's see, we got notebook, we got journals, we got coloring books, activity books, um, puzzle books also, but um, we are just gonna do general to keep it, you know, just so we can do a broad range. So we're gonna actually type flowers in here And then we are going to do search and this is just to give you like live results to see what the best selling low content books is now right here if it's still loading you can always um, stop it so you do have that options so this is the results data so this will help you price your books correctly so you have keywords you have total results average best seller rank you have the lowest price you have the highest price you have the average price which is not too bad and then you have category now down here this does show you the book title you have the author the asin number which will be uniquely signed the price we have the reviews and then we have 4504 ratings and then a bestseller rank 429 and estimated sales selling per month which is 669 estimated sales and publishing date now you do have the option to add to your favorites all right, so this is the keyword count, and the number here that's on the side is the most used keywords in the bestseller books. So that's what that number is for. And if you look down here, you have related keywords, and these are keywords that are related, and then the number that's on the side is how many times this keyword has been searched in one month. So you see big numbers here. All right, so we are gonna click on seller search, and right here is where you would type in the seller's name or the brand. This is good for looking up a brand name to see if they have another book or if any of the books they sell are on Amazon. So we're searching for Lily. Click search. All right, so this is the result data. This is what we came up with. So this is not like a really high selling book. 
as you can see um, the highest price is 897 average price 897 all right so we're going to stop it and then you have just the same as the other page for the products you have the assign asin number and then you can see that the bestseller rank is super high for this book so um, it looks like it's only been two ratings for it all right and then you can save it to your favorites and then you also have the keyword count and then that's also related keywords on the bottom and you can see how many times it's been searched in a month so this one i just pulled it just typed in lily and just to do it to try it all right so next we are going to go to the cloud all right so the cloud looks at a broad new um, way of books that are being sold on amazon to see what should be selling so here we have the top 100 you have like top 200 top 300 top 400 but we're going to do top 100 go on to categories now we are going to keep it at notebooks and if you scroll down you see there are a lot of options here but like i said we're going to keep it at notebook now here we are going to leave it blank because this will give us an idea so we can see everything these numbers here you can adjust and move them up but one is the best seller and then the bigger the number the lowest it is on the best seller rank so we're going to keep it at five hundred thousand. all right so this is the price range you can adjust it um to whatever you want but we're going to keep it at zero because like i said we want as you know as many books as we can get all right so we're going to hit search all right so let's see what we got coming up down here all right so we got the result data keyword count you can do the drop down box and this tells you all of the keywords just you know just the information the data that you need to make sure that you are you know what i'm saying looking for the best books that are on amazon keyword count again um you have how many times the keyword has been used for the best seller so that is what the drop down box is for so we're just going to use this book right here this is what we're going to focus on all right so we got the title author we got publisher and right here for the publisher if it says create space that means that it was um, previously before it integrated with amazon kdp so you have the publisher um, date you have the price you have all of this information here that'll help you rank your book higher and help it get seen on amazon so that way you'll know exactly what books to put in front of your audience on Amazon. So this is more books down here that you are seeing. So that's, you can also um, save for your favorites there. And then also we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this here. All right, so this is the best seller rank and price history. All right, so this way you can see how the seller is doing. And if it goes down, that means that the book is doing a great job of selling. So it looks like the seller has pretty much kept it at a consistent price um, the whole time it has been on here. And it looks like the book hasn't done too bad, but um, when it first started, it looks like it took off. So this is like basically all of the information you need to pretty much succeed on selling low content books. All right, so we are going to go to Book Scout. Okay, so Book Scout um, uses a reverse ASIN search. And so basically what we're going to do is go back to the cloud. Okay, so we need to go find an ASIN number. So we are going to go click there. And we're just going to do our search again. All right, so we are just going to take this ASIN number, which is super unique, and this is the one that Amazon gives you when you create your book on KDP. And we're going to go back to Book Scout. We're going to paste that ASIN number in. And this is all of the information that we get here. So this is keywords that you should be using, how it ranks. And sometimes it depends on how um, your computer is that um, it'll tell you um, when it ranks so you have to wait till it loads and then we also have total items count and then um, you also have the search volume so like I said all of these things are like basically great information so that you can get your book to rank high and that way you can make extra side hustle income for your um, KDP books 
This one here is a favorite of mine's, which is favorites. So you can save um, your categories in this here. So all you would basically do is go ahead and click on add category and then type it in and we're just going to do journals then just go ahead and save and voila you have your category saved all right once it's saved you will see success on the bottom so then download products list and we don't have any products list so you can add as many categories you want and then you can just basically save them all right so we are in keywords we are going to hit search and this is a very valuable tool here so we're going to actually type in dogs search so this one when i actually um, search dogs um, you can see that it does give you um, all of the keywords here all right and then you have amazon search volume then you have a google search volume on the next row here and then we have CPC on the next row, which is calls per clicks of Google ads for each keyword. So that is a totally useful tool. And then after that, you can see the competition. It tells you if it's low or a medium, but this right here did say um, no data on here. So I did notice that. So, um, what I did was I decided to actually um, do another search and I decided to do flower. So we're going to try with that and then we're going to hit search. And we're just waiting for that. Now when I did do flower, it did give me um, all of the keywords, the um, Amazon search, Google search, and cost per clicks, and then it did give me the competition on the side here. You see high, and then a couple of them said no data. So then we have most frequently keywords here, and then we have um, relevant products, which is awesome. So you can kind of like see the picture of them. All right, so next we have KDP categories. I thought this was really pretty cool because you can actually type in your keyword here and I actually did dog for um, this one here. And then we are going to do search and this will tell you exactly what categories to use because I know sometimes when I do um, like listing things, I'm like, what category should I put? So this right here will help you search better. Um, and then we did flowers and you can see the categories that it said that you need to put. So this right here is a really super valuable tool. Now, just to let you guys know, there was an extension that I um, downloaded for this um, one here. This is KDP Spy. So this lets you go on Amazon and you can like check and see like all of the bestseller ranks and everything like that. So you can get a little bit more info in debt. And so we're going to hop over to Amazon here and I'm going to search Flower Journal. So we are going to click on our extension. KDP Spy, and then voila. All right, so we're gonna click Start. And like I said, once it starts loading, you always have the option to stop. That is one thing that I love about this. So these are all of the options that you have. So we're gonna click Start. And as you can see, you have the ASN title, price, BSR. I do love this um, cover, that is so pretty. And then we have the price, BSR, the rate, best sales, estimated revenue, author, and publish on. So that way you can go exactly onto Amazon to get it. All right, so I did think that um, extension was actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So that is a good way to get more information and figure out what is selling on Amazon. All right, so next we have Book Lister. All right, so for the book lister, that is another Chrome extension. So I've already have it downloaded. So let's go ahead and let's check that one out. All right, so this one here I thought was super unique. This is a way that you can go ahead and add like everything to it. You can make a hotkey. 
so basically when you get to amazon kdp just press this key and it will load everything in there and i did shift four shortcut i'm just going to put notebooks i'm just going to type whatever in here because just for time's sake because we are doing just a little tutorial so um at first i was like thinking maybe i shouldn't do this step but once i did it i am like so happy i'll show you guys in a little bit so i'm just typing in just a bonker description here and then we're going to do keywords i'm just going to put book bolt and you know what i'm saying flowers and things like that so that's what we're going to do we're going to scroll down i'm just going to click on fiction just general here um we're going to scroll down because like i said just for time's sakes we're just doing this all right so we're going to change it to the six by nine and then we'll just keep it glossy so make sure you click active because if it's not active it's not going to work when you go to kdp amazon so this is what it looks like so we've created a profile all right, so let's go back to Book Bolt. We are going to go under the Research tab. We're going to click Create. So now you see the options. We got Puzzle and Cover, Converter. But we're going to go ahead and just go to Book Bolt Designer. Woo! Time to log in. All right, so we're creating our book, choosing a template. So we have paperback. I'm just going to do the cover. I chose six by nine. And for the paper, we're just going to do black and white. You can do interior and interior. You can add the bleed mark and then you can change the pages to whatever you want to do. And we're going to just, let's just do 75. All right. So let's go ahead and change it back to cover. And then we are going to click submit. Sometimes this can take a little bit. So you have to be patient with this while it gets, um, you know, all of the things together here all right so it looked like we are in so this is our size six by nine all right so this is just the product back cover that you want to pick you can choose any color that you want um it totally up to you so then you have text you can do curve text you can do um, oblique you can do bridge it's just you can use a lot of different text they have like over 1200 um, fonts that you can use and if you scroll up a little bit you can also um, make your add your own text too so I'm just gonna go ahead and we're just like I said we're just trying this out I'm just gonna do a flower um, let's do flower notebook so we're gonna do that and I can't type today y'all can't type and y'all I am so sorry about this huge cursor just wanted y'all to see okay so we're gonna kind of Kind of make it a little bit bigger there and then you can also change the color of the text and i am actually just going to do it just for right now hmm. let's see i don't think i'm going to do it um, let's see i know i'm like trying to figure out a color what we're going to do all right so let's see we can change it let's change it this color it's like a off white a little bit all right so i know you cannot see it but um, i'm going to change the background all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to do our image you can upload the image or you can do resources all right, so as you can see i put flowers again so then we're just going to do um search and this is going to be images that they have in their um, image library and the first one I really seriously do love this I just love like bright bold colors, so I'm going to use this one and like I said we are just um, using this for practice and then you can um, and that's the letters that I did in the background so um, I'm going to bring that to the front so now you can see it in the front now I'm going to actually make this wide and we're going to bring this all the way out to the bleed so that's what we're going to actually do we're going to bring this down so there's little dots on each corner that you can actually bring it all the way down so um i always put it to the edge that's how i do it just to make sure nothing gets cut off and then you have the flower notebook you have that here all right, so let's go ahead and hop into shapes. I'm just gonna pick any shape here. Maybe 
let's do a let's do a rectangle and then we're gonna bring it down and then we're just gonna put it there and we're gonna widen it out just a tad bit and you have to like play with these shapes and things like that so I am actually going to go up here you do have a patterns option here where you can repeat vertical brick repeat horizontal bricks repeat clear current and then that just tells you the color scheme in the bottom you can change the color and I am going to do let's see I think I'm gonna do a green there we go and then I'm going to go to arrange layers and I'm going to send it to the back so that way you can see the letters um, for a flower notebook in the front there and I am going to this is just drawing mode so if you want to like draw something in there but um, as of now I am not going to be drawing anything in there then you have um, layers there so you can work on each layer separately um, you can lock them or you can unlock them and then you have effects so you can do like like this one right here is like a distress I'm just gonna do this real quick and then I'll probably undo it but I'm just gonna show you how it applies to the book and you see how it gives it like that distressed look but um, I'm not gonna keep that there so I just did that just to show you guys so we're just gonna click undo and there we go all right so she's back to normal next we have mask down here and then it does have the option to upload mask there All right, so now is the fun part, go to interior. So this gives you the interior pages. You can do no bleed, we're gonna do bleed and we're gonna change it to paperback, six by nine. And the pages that we are going to add is 75. And there are so many options that you can choose from. It is like crazy. That is the good thing about this book ball. So you don't have to actually create your own pages. You have journal, music sheets, bill trackers. Um, you just scroll down. You have so many career plan, monthly to-do list, mood tracker. Yeah, it's just crazy list of lots of um templates that you can use look at that body progress tracker body measurement oh look at the hexagon i love that all right so let's head back up so um since we are doing a notebook i think i'm going to do just um, these journaling pages so that's what we're going to do for that all right so it's going to take us to adobe acrobat and you can see all of the pages and it goes from 1 to 75 okay so if you scroll down you'll see all of the pages from 1 to 75 and they're all the same so this makes it super easy to create a low content selling book right super easy all right so we are actually going to save this all right so let's go back and head to our front book cover and as you can see we are pretty much done so we're just going to click on download and we are going to download this bad boy and like i said sometimes it does take a little bit patient but with anything downloading you know it takes a little bit of time sometimes all right once it's done you will see your design is ready and then you just click on download so that will download your design so we're just gonna wait until she pops up, right? <laughs> All right, so there we go. So you see your front cover on your, for your KDP um, low content selling book. Isn't it pretty once it's all together? All right. All right, so now all you have to do is click download And that will download your cover so this makes it so crazy easy to make books and journals on Amazon so now let's hop over to Amazon K 
go ahead and hop into the price. So for a monthly newbie, you um, these are the prices that you can get. Book Bold, and then you have a monthly pro. And then they also have a yearly subscription that you can also take advantage of also. So I just wanted to um, put that in there for just for a little bit. And then you also get a three-day free trial. With and then also, guys, you'll get 20% off of your subscription. The code is TINA20. And then the link is in the description box to sign up for it. So back to Amazon KDP Direct Publishing. This is the screen that you're going to do to sign in here. So we're going to create a paper bag. So this is what we're going to use to create our book. So remember when I told you guys that um, we were using the book bolt lister, this is where it's going to get super cool because we're going to be able to use the hotkey that we created. All right, let's head up to the extension tool. We're going to click on book book lister and then remember this is the profile that we created and down here is the hotkey that we created all right so we're just going to do shift four so we're going to head back to amazon kdp and when we get there we are actually going to hit shift four and as you can see everything pretty much fills in crazy right so that made listing this book a lot faster and filling in each one of these um, fields that you have to fill in, they're pretty self-explanatory, like publishing rights, um, keywords, um, categories, is this adult content? So after you fill all of those out, and then you want to make sure that you um, have the low content books checked. All right, so it looks like we are pretty much done on this page. So we're going to go ahead and hit save and continue. And... Uh, yes save successful all right so this is the next page so this is published without an ISN number or you can use your own ISBN um, and it says if it's low content notebooks or journals it says not to so then you got your publisher's date so we will be adding today's date so let's go ahead and click it 28th all right so then we're going to be able to select the print options this is the ink and paper I just leave it at black and white, but you can select whatever you want to select. The size is already pre-filled. Um, you have no bleed, or you can switch it to bleed. I just put no bleed, but just for time's sake, we're just going to do this. So we're going to upload our um, paperback manuscript. Okay, so remember, this was what we um, had for the journal notebooks, the interior. And just make sure you remember the file name. So you're going to upload that to your paperback manuscript. All right, once you found it, you're going to go ahead and upload it to your manuscript. And sometimes this may take a little bit, but that was pretty fast. So we have successful. So now let's go ahead and upload our cover. So we're going to go to upload your cover. All right, so once you upload your cover, it should be uploading and it may take a little bit depends on like what um how much you have going on with your cover but we will wait a little bit um to see what this is going to do all right so it says save successful so So it does say save successfully uploaded, but you can see that it's still processing the file. Um, so it's still kind of working in the background there. All right, so I am gonna actually scroll down and I am going to launch um, the previewer um, so that we can just check it out and see what our book looks like. Um, and then I do have some things that I need to kind of um, edit on my account because um, there's some things I need to change all right so now it says saving preparing your files so this should take us to preview what our book will look like if it was actually being processed through Amazon KDP and what the finished product would be okay so this is the part where I tell you you have to be a little bit patient so it says checking your cover for quality issues all right, let's see what we got here. All right, and she is checking it over. All right, so we got savings. So 
Let's see. Okay, so now this is going to be what I, ooh, you see the barcode, you see the title, quality check, and this is what it'll actually look like when they are printing it, and then this will be the finished product. All right, so let's continue, y'all. We are almost pretty much done with this book. All right, so we're going to scroll down, and this is our summary, and this is your pricing cost for Amazon to print. So they already have that figured out for you. And we are going to go ahead and save and continue. So this will take us to the pricing page next. All right, so here we are. Okay, so it lets you select all territories, um, your primary marketplace, Amazon.com. So this right here lets you choose how much you want to charge for your book. Um, let's just choose, let's do $5.99. And then this will actually tell you how much the pricing is, um, the rate 60%, and then how much you would actually make off of the book. And like I said, it's like passive income posted up there. You know what I'm saying? And then let's just go ahead and try $6.99 to see exactly what we would make from this book, which is not bad. As passive income, something that you can have coming in awesome side hustle so we're going to scroll to the bottom you have to accept the terms and condition now i do have some things that i need to go back in to fix for my account because it's saying that it's incomplete but i will go back and fix that um and then this right here if i didn't have this um account information incomplete it would let us go ahead and publish the book all right y'all so that is all hope this helped bye